just made up a song for you guys and I was singing it and I was having a good old time and then I realized that the memory card wasn't in the camera. <laughs> I know, right? That was my fault. It was his fault. Yeah. 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 Anyhow, you don't get the song now because it was in the moment. I'd feel, on, like, do it. I'd feel like I was faking it. I could sing it. I don't remember the song. Do you remember the song I made up? I remember up? it word for word. All right. Friday morning is a great morning to have. That's great not the song. Great times. It was, welcome to the vlog. This is your vlog song. It might not be a good song, but it's still a song. There may have been more to it than that. I don't remember. I didn't really like that one. You like the song, buddy? He's like, no, I just want to look outside. It's snowing out. And it was a perfect accessory song to walk looking outside. <laughs> Anyhow, I was also saying that it's a bittersweet morning because um, this guy is staring down his last day of vacation. A, these, these pancakes are a little more salty. Some crying <laughs> into the bag. We're celebrating yeah. with pancakes. <laughs> Actually, I demanded he make me pancakes. Push me out of bed. No, I didn't push you out of bed. I just demanded you make me pancakes. Um, oh, you know why I bet they're like that? I bet they're like that because maybe the yolk. We're missing a yolk. We just used egg no, whites. they're like that because I didn't use eggs. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? They look funny. I mentioned to the Teresa, they look funny. And I'm just realizing now, she said, it's because we use egg whites instead of eggs. I'm like, no, it's because we didn't use any eggs. <laughs> That's, that's why they look funny. <laughs> Troubleshooting 101. But they look adorable. So, in an act of hubris, I thought I could cut my own hair. And the front looks alright. I'm okay with the front. <laughs> but then you get in the mirror in the bathroom, quiet you. You get in the mirror in the bathroom, you probably get a better shot than I will. Because obviously, I can't control things once my back is turned. You tried. <laughs> now, to be fair, I had to go in there a little bit, and yeah. I am no professional, so it didn't uh, look this uh, bad before, but I had to reveal that he cut all the way up to here, and all the way here, this part is just because he hasn't washed his hair yet. <laughs> and he's got a little bit up here, and I don't know how to like, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I think even, yeah, even if we tapered this down, that's a really weird hairline, right? It's way too far. <laughs> Unless I do a mushroom cut up top. Oh, so what are we doing to make up for this as our uh, child goes into the bedroom? Yeah, well, it is winter time, so I thought the best thing to do would be to make the top of my hair as short as the back as the back of my hair here. In other words, we're shaving his head. I'm shaving his head. I'm I, scared. I'm scared because I've never wanted to have hair that short. Like, I've had hair kind of, kind of that short before. So I'm just checking my yeah. child. Where are you? Hey! Are you, are you not happy with your, your wardrobe decision? <laughs> or do you want to wash the diapers? Quentin, Hello. you've been spotted. Huh? Come on, what? we're going to lock the door. What's going on? Come on, why don't you take my hand and we'll walk? Anyhow, we will be yeah. filming this process in a So moment. anyway, that's, that's my fear right now is that I know it's going to look better if it's all the same length now, or roughly <laughs> the same length, but I've never wanted short hair because I'm balding on top and I'm... Uh, I got a bumpy head too, so I don't know what it's gonna look well, like. Well, I'm not gonna shave it like I know we're not bald. bald, bald. I'm not Professor X. And I'm not starting on this setting no, either. We'll start, we're gonna yeah. go high and then we'll. Because you can cut shorter, you can't cut back to long. No. Again. <laughs> As I've learned. As you just learned. Alright, All right, let's do this. Let's do it.
so we're we're out of juice again. Um, I haven't used this this trimmer since I can't even remember when. I got a nice beard trimmer for Christmas a year or two ago, and um, I don't think I'll be using this one again. But we're committed to it now. So every 10 minutes we go off and do something else. Teresa's having a shower, and uh, we're gonna try and uh, maybe maybe one last go, and this will be done. Might be two. Hopefully we'll be done before we have to go out tonight. We are still filming. Hi! <laughs> We're trying to get him to feed on his own. He totally squirted himself in the eyeball. And I'd like to say, I already said it to you personally, it might have been caught in my camera, but I want to say thank you for saving my, <laughs> my hair, what's left of it. Uh, I still feel like it's more poofy on the one side. I'm going to do a little, a little trim on some okay. of the, the, the straight yeah. strands, but you did a great job <laughs> saving, saving my mistake. <laughs> so thanks, babe. No problem. Boys, yeesh. So, I think she did a pretty good job with what she had to work with. Uh, I'm talking to the Super Smith gang. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I think it looks all right. All things considered, I won't be trying to cut my own hair in the next little while. Uh, as for... These. <laughs> what did you do? Oh my god. <laughs> I hope you didn't eat that. Okay, we have to check out what's going on here. I'll keep you posted. To watch you like a hawk. Caw! 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 You ready to go to Grandma's, kiddo? Yeah, it's hard to touch stuff with the uh, with big old middies. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, you're trying to escape. It's going to be trickier. Good job. You're a pro. You're a thief and an escape artist. Gentleman burglar. There's cat burglars. You're a puppy burglar. I think those are puppies. <laughs> Hi. So we've escaped for date night. It's not Wednesday again, it's Friday. We're just mixing things up. Can you guess where we are for date night? There's, oh, you won't see him. There's a guy dressed up over there. We're at Medieval Times. Dinner and tournament. We love Medieval Times. And it also happens to be Alan's Christmas party for work tonight. Yeah, and so I'm crashing the party. Along. Yeah, should be fun. So I'm super excited. We probably can't take video and stuff throughout. Probably not. But it would be anachronistic, right? And yeah. The timeline would crash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was just gonna have What are you? 
What a battle. It's insane. We didn't win, though. We didn't win. I didn't catch that, but uh, I was rooting for that green knight. Didn't, didn't. I know, he was awesome. I almost lost my voice for him. <laughs> We're at Shoeless Joe's now. Not for too much longer. We have to head home soon. And that's a wrap for today. Whew, that was an exciting, exciting adventure we had. Had a good cool. time. Yeah. If I get really loud, I can kind of this now. Ah, ah, go, go, Green Knight. That's kind of, and that's not joking, by the way. That's yeah. my actual voice right now. <laughs> and he still didn't win. He didn't win. Green Knight, come on. Come on, Green Knight. You were cool, but you didn't have the move. What were they calling him? Sexy Jesus? That's right. <laughs> he, looked, he looked a little Jesus-y. I don't think I got a shot of our night because I was cheering too much when uh, yeah, trying to we get him to win. Mode. Right? Yeah, but I got a, a few shots of the, the, the action, as it were, of other nights. Uh, and then we did a Secret Santa at uh, the bar near Medieval Times afterwards with my staff. And look what one of my staff got me. Or us, rather, I should say. It's a Super Smiths comic book cover. It's pretty awesome. How cool is that? So I told him, Alex, that uh, I'd be using this as an end slate for sure. Because it beats my drawing. <laughs> I've, I've grown to love the little drawing I made, but this is super cool for the Super Smiths. It's so, one of a kind. It is. It can go up on the wall somewhere. I don't know. I've got to figure out. It's definitely going up somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. but we'll figure that out. Um, maybe in the bedroom. Maybe it'll yeah. be a... a oh, why, by where you edit. Yeah, that's a Down cool there. idea. Yeah, a little for the, for the editing office. station. Yeah, yes. I like it. So, here you go. I don't know if I can... Uh, can we hold it? Yeah. There we go. Very cool. <laughs> so, thanks, Alex. We'll link to uh, uh, Alex and Mitch. Um, besides being excellent uh, cinema workers, popcorn scoopers, popcorn jockeys. They are uh, very talented um, video gurus. <laughs> what do you call people that make videos uh, for a living? I don't want to say videographers because they design the uh, commercials, uh, they shoot them. Video yeah, they're creators. They're their own video studio. They're not basically. vloggers, right? No. Because they're not on YouTube. No. But they put or, their stuff on YouTube yeah. after the fact. Uh, I'm going to put a link and you can decide and tell me what they should be called. They should be called awesome, is what I'm, <laughs> what I'm getting at. Uh, very talented guys. And uh, yeah, we got a little, a, little, uh, a little piece of that from, from Alex. Look at that. That's <laughs> awesome. Hey, the vacation is over. It's back to work for me. Uh, but I had a good week. Thanks for a good week, hon. Thanks for taking vacation. Anytime. Back to work. So Alan is off to work and we are having some lunch. Well, Quentin's having some lunch. Um, this is the lentil doll that I made the other day, but with the quinoa in it, so it's a bit thicker. He doesn't mind it. He really doesn't. He's actually been eating uh, quite a bit of it, but we are going to move on to the next course because, like I said the other day, we're moving on to some finger foods. We got some steamed pear and I just steamed up some carrots for this evening. I've already given him some pears and I think he likes it. Because he's a big pear fan. Eh? You're a big pear fan, but I'm not giving him the plate <laughs> because I've made this mistake before. Here. Nice face. Let's take that away. Remember what to do with that? You can eat it. What? No, eat it. It's really mushy too, so this is the only other problem. He had it in his hand before and he ate it, so. I just hope those chunks are small enough, but they're very, very mushy, so I think that's fine. See? You ate it! Good job! You like pear? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You look a little ridiculous. Welcome back. Ooh, they're slippery. I'm gonna um, order some groceries today. I think I'm gonna order some of them, him some of those uh, Baby Bell cheeses and uh, a few other things that I can just kind of start to give to him. And I'm gonna feed him a little bit less of the puree and a little bit more of the finger foods. I'm thinking ahead. I am already planning on how I'm weaning him off of the bottle. It's gonna start next month. We're gonna nix the afternoon four ounce bottle when he wakes up for his afternoon nap. I'm already planning this stuff ahead of time because if I don't, I'm gonna forget. It's just like finger foods. I forget and all I've been doing is feeding him purees and like he needs to, I mean, we feed him stuff after he gets the purees so he knows how to pick up food, but you know mean it's just if, if you don't think to do it you don't do it so you kind of have to plan ahead but I think you like it it's actually kind of nice out I look much more bundled up than I think I need to be I actually took my gloves off but you can tell there's a lot of snow around here so it hasn't quite gone away yet but I don't think it will thankfully because I want to wait Christmas but it's nice it's a really nice day out mm -hmm. yeah what do you have to say? You can't see anything and you're licking your zipper again. Thank God it's plastic. Thank God it's plastic. Thank God it's plastic. So we're back in from our walk. It was just a brief walk, but again, like I was mentioning while I was outside, it the weather isn't that bad. It's actually kind of nice out. So it was a nice walk and uh, I just grabbed a sandwich with it while I was out because I need to get some groceries today. And today's kind of like a chill day for me. I'm allowing myself to just kind of not do anything too crazy. What I mean by that is normally during, as you guys know, during Quentin's nap times, I'm, I'm usually working in some way. I'm either working out or I'm working. Today, today I just want to chill. <laughs> and right now I'm going to deal with this, which has, yes, been down here since I first brought it out. Um, the stuff at the top is stuff that needs to go into it. This is the stuff I've noticed that I've gone through all of his clothes and it's all really, it's too small for him. And I, I, we're still going through stuff that's too small for him, but I'm going to put that stuff in the bin. And then the stuff underneath, this stuff is stuff that's actually still a little too big for him, but what I want to take out for the year. And I'm going to wash that tonight. And then I'm going to put the bin back. So that's about as much as I'm going to do during this nap. Hopefully he will nap. I just put him down so he's not asleep yet. He didn't nap yesterday. Um, I thought he did because he got really quiet for a while. Turns out I have a feeling that was when he got into his little diaper station thing. <laughs> so he didn't nap at all. And he conked out as soon as he came back from uh, Mama Smith's, from Grandma Smith's last night. So... I'm hoping he's going to nap this afternoon, but I'm going to just do that quickly right now. It's not going to take long. And then I'm going to chill out and read some more of my book. That is what I'm doing today. I was just going through these clothes again. I got the bin up into the attic finally. And I actually took, originally I only had 12 to 18 months out, but there's only like six or seven items from 18 to 24. So I just took those down as well. So now I know that everything that we have between 12 and 24 months is down here. We don't have to search, especially since we are renovating next year. I don't want to have to go find stuff. So I brought it all down. Anyway, I am um, putting them all into the, the basket so I can wash it tonight. And I came across this, which may not seem like much. It's just a Las Vegas onesie. But this just so happens to be the very first piece of clothing we bought for Quentin. This was even before we knew um, if he was going to be a boy or a girl. I was seven weeks pregnant when I went to Las Vegas for a work convention. And I, I told myself while I was there, because we weren't going to go crazy with the clothing because we knew there'd be a, a baby shower and stuff, but I said, I'm going to buy something for him or her, the baby, when I was there. And we couldn't find like a little onesie, like a tiny one for less than one year. I could only get one that was 18 months. So I bought it. And so this is the very first piece of clothing 
that we bought for him and he's going to be able to wear it next year. Isn't that crazy? I have another another onesie that says from Las Vegas, but it wasn't from us. It was a hand-me-down and didn't say baby on it. I was trying to find like a cute, like a really cute one, but all of them were kind of inappropriate <laughs> and all about like crazy ants going to, to Vegas. This was the only one I could find that was actually decent. So anyway, oh, I'm so excited. It just brought back a lot of memories. I, was, I remember I was seven weeks pregnant and I was talking to my doctor. Uh, it was before we even had our midwife and I was afraid that uh, that was when I was going to get morning sickness because for most women, it's seven weeks. You start to get morning sickness. So um, I was going to be in a plane. I was going to be in a new place. I didn't know how I was going to react. And um, I, I was fine. <laughs> I spent 80 bucks on medication just in case I needed it to help with morning sickness. Didn't need it at all. Thank God. <laughs> Happy Sunday, guys. It feels like a Saturday, but it is a Sunday. And it is a mess all up in here. Look at this. Look. Look at that. Hi. You know, you're sitting on Daddy's shirt, right? Now you just bought the camera. It's been a messy morning. What can you do? He's about ready for his nap, and then I'm gonna have a shower, and then I'm gonna chill out. Are you standing on the book? I think we're gonna retire that book at Christmas time for a little while until he gets a better hang of it. We're getting sick of hearing it. <laughs> Hi, buddy. It's story time. Woo! Don't step on my foot. How are you doing? How are you doing, smiley face? He had quite the early evening last night. I put him down at 7 and he was hysterical and he wouldn't stop for 30 minutes. So I went to go and grab him and we chilled out to like eight put it back down hysterical again so grabbed him like close to 8 30 and we just hung out on the couch downstairs until 9 30 and he kept shoving his hands in his mouth but when i picked him up he didn't cry so i think he just wanted to be held because his teeth are bugging him um but not quite hurting hurting him and I put him down at 9.30 and he cried for five minutes and then <coughs> done. I was hoping he'd sleep in this morning, but no such luck. Yeah, how's your teeth this morning, buddy? How's your teeth this morning? He's like, they're fine, mommy. They're okay. Drop my beat. Yo, DJ. Drop my beat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. He's the craziest DJ in all of Toronto. He doesn't even follow the rules of rhythm. Shoo 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 shoo. Here you go. Your turn. Yeah. Good boy. Woo. Good job! Push. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta work on your aim. <gasps> yeah! Good Quentin. Great. Bonk. <laughs> Here, Quentin. <laughs> Quick, you're losing him. Quentin. <laughs> Look. Don't worry about his legs, just throw it. <laughs> okay. Quentin. Here's. Here's the ball. <laughs> Look at the ball! <laughs> it's a short-lived game of catch. But we got it. Yeah. We got that and a, cat and a clap. <gasps> Yay! Boosh. Yay! Boosh. <laughs> Yeah, I did your dirty work. I'm not your monkey. I'm not your monkey. I don't want your ball. I'm just gonna walk over here. Look what we found in Job's food dish. Someone has a taste for the pie. 
Man, there's not going to be any tree left after this. Job, what are you doing? Where are you? It's all just darkness under there. Job's hiding spot is under the couch, which, if that was a court of law and the prosecution presented that case, that right after this was found, that Job was nowhere to be found, didn't have an alibi, and was hiding under the couch, well, we'll get back to that next time on season two of Serial. <laughs> You're not going to take it in. <laughs> No, that's evidence. Happy Monday, everybody! Monday! It's Monday! I'm talking like a weirdo on a Monday! It's Monday. Alan's at work. He works till four, which, uh, again, I think you guys know by now. I like those shifts because it means, although he's gone when I wake up, he's back earlier. That's nice. This guy's up. He is having lunch. We have decided to give him a little piece of turkey today, considering... He had that piece that's in his mouth. He was given it five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna wait on turkey for a little longer. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll start. Mama! 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 Yay! Mama! Mama! Now you're gonna be shy? Mama! Okay, you should eat up. Ma, 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 I think we'll give you fish instead. That's a good one to start with. What do you think? Yeah, I'm ma, ma. Uh, I don't want to see your food. It's not the kind of seafood we're talking about. It's not the kind of seafood we're talking about. Ma, ma, am I going to have to fish that out of your mouth? Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> You're being silly. You're being silly. Look at those feet. Two more days until my wrist appointment. Eee! So excited. Five months later, I am bound and determined not to walk out of there without a solution. Either I'm getting the shot or something like we have a game plan for it to get better and not just waiting. It's not, it's not worse. And it is better than it was, like a few months from a few months ago. But it's not gone. I want it gone. I don't care what it takes. I want it gone because even yesterday I picked up Q and I had to turn him around. And in so doing, I screwed up my wrist again. Like it's not better, and it needs something needs to happen. So I am so excited about that. Are you stuck? Good boy! Good job! You got yourself out! Well, that's it. Another episode. You made it through. Thanks for watching. That you made it through. I hope it's, it's better than that sounds. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, comment. Let us know what you think. And if there's anything else you want to see. What are we doing that you like? What are we doing that we should stop doing? Is that Q guy pulling the Super Smith show down? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.